Hi and welcome to another episode of Porsche Nomics. Um, a quick one today uh, based on some interesting stuff that's happening in the world of arrestor mods. In a previous video I talked about the difference, if you like, uh, between certain arrestor mod brands, the likes of Rensport and Theon and Singer. And by complete coincidence, over the last couple of days, there have been some very interesting examples of rather different dynamics when it comes to the resale value of certain vehicles. So for instance, this car has just uh, failed to sell, actually, at a high bid of $955,000 on Bringer Trailer in the United States. Now that's a Singer Classic, a car that would have been about $500,000 plus a bit of spec when it was new a couple of years back. So in effect, failed to sell, but still made about twice its list price. Uh, the power of the Singer brand, if you like. In sharp contrast, just yesterday on collecting cars, a Theon, which, as I've said before, arguably is pretty much the same thing when it comes to carbon body and spec and engine build performance and so on, has just made just barely $220,000. Now that is a car that would have been about $600,000 new. So a car that in the UK is about 400,000 pounds plus the donor vehicle. So in effect, that Theon has sold for about a third of its list price. So a third of what it was new versus a Singer that has sold for twice that. Now, I guess my point here is that not all of these cars are the same, and there's of course an argument around the, the quality of each build, not to take anything away from Theon in this instance, but the importance of not just build and concept and engineering and quality and engine performance, but the importance of a very, very specific thing. And that is the importance here when it comes to resale value and general demand and desirability of a thing known as brand. Now, Singer undoubtedly have a brand. Now, they've been around a little bit longer than Theon, yes, but they've done a fantastic job of, through PR and through uh, the kind of network effect, work of, or word of mouth, being at events and so on, of building themselves up as a reliable, luxury brand, whereby the brand itself conveys quality, longevity, and price uh, in exactly the way that other luxury brands, the likes of whatever, Louis Vuitton and uh, you know Chanel and Apple and so on also do very, very well. So what am I saying? I guess I'm saying that Singer have definitely won the brand race when it comes to Resta Mods, backdate 911s, and there's a lesson there for the others, whether that be Theon, whether that be Tuthill, whether that be Rensport, that if they get their brand right, and that's not advertising, brand, PR, marketing, slightly different things, kind of several, several, um, several sides, if you like, to the same coin, be careful how I put that. Uh, that. If they get that right, then they too can enjoy the ability to charge more for their cars, as Singer do, but also from their customer's perspective, more confidence that they're gonna get a decent resale value. I suspect that within the walls of the Theon organization this week, there will be meetings and discussions about the fact that their product effectively depreciates and Singer's appreciate. Let me know what you think down here in the comments. Uh, and please, look, if you like what we're doing here in terms of talking about the economics of classic cars, Porsches in particular, please like the video, please subscribe um, and hit that bell thing, whatever it is, which I think tells you in the future when we've put one of these things live. Thanks for watching. Until next time. The next one, by the way, is a real good one. See you soon.